Hey everyone, so in our last video, we talked about using Unifix cubes to help students represent improper fractions and mixed numbers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use this as a tool to help your students add mixed numbers. So I have this template here that I created for students to um, represent this on. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you how this works. All right, so let's say that we have two and one fifth plus one and three fifths. Okay, so they would build a hole um, with five fifths. And we talked about that in the last video that students need to know that the denominator tells them how many pieces are in the hole. So since there are two holes in our first mixed fraction, we're gonna have two groups of five fifths. Okay, so we have two holes here and then we need one fifth. Okay. Then we're gonna build our next mixed number. So we have one whole, so another five-fifths, plus three-fifths. All right, and then students are able to combine since we're adding, and they can put their one-fifth with the three-fifths, and their two holes with the one hole. Okay, and they are able to see that they get three holes and four-fifths. Now this is typically a simple problem because there's no regrouping involved. But when we get into problems that involve regrouping, it can be a little bit more challenging for our students. So let's say that instead of two and one fifth, students had to solve two and three fifths. Okay, so <clears throat> let's clear our mat. So we have two holes, again, five fifths plus five fifths, and then we have three fifths, okay? And then we have one whole, another five fifths, plus three fifths. So when students combine, they'll see that the two holes plus the one hole has given them three holes, and that the three fifths plus three fifths is now six fifths. Now, a lot of times students will leave it written that way. They'll write three and six fifths, okay? But that's, that's not the correct form because the correct form of the mixed number is a whole number and a proper fraction. And that six fifths has a hole in it. So that's what students are going to recognize. They're going to recognize that in that six fifths, they could create a hole. So they're going to break that hole into five fifths and they're left with the one fifth. So they're able to see that two and three fifths plus one and three fifths is four and one fifth. Now this is just a good tool to use to help students understand this process. Eventually, they're able to move away from using the cubes um, and use a more efficient strategy. For example, they could still use this template um, to help them, but they would show their whole numbers and then their fraction and then that two plus one gives them three, and three fifths plus three fifths is six fifths. And then they're able to, to see because of their, um, ex their experience with these cubes that they know that six fifths can break down into a whole, which is five fifths plus one fifth would be left. Okay, so they're decomposing the six fifths into a whole and one fifth. And then they know to take that whole and regroup it with their other holes. So three holes plus one more hole is four holes, and then they're left with one fifth of their fraction, which gives them four and one fifth as their sum. So this is just a tool that you, again, where you can use these Unifix cubes to help students with adding mixed numbers, um, especially when it comes to regrouping. Hope this helps. Um, soon I'll be coming back with another video about subtracting with mixed numbers using these Unifix cubes.